Let's talk about human relations. You know, I've said before that I've known people that were more successful in their ability to love others and to touch others than some people that I've known that have had PhDs. These people might have only graduated high school, but they had a skill that everybody wants. The power of human relations coming through you is something that will determine your success in life. It says in 1 Peter 4, verse 8, hold, and that means to hold on, don't let go, to unfailing love for one another, since love covers a multitude of sins. Well, sometimes a person allows a difficult human relationship to affect their peace of mind and even the health of their body. No one likes to feel animosity or ill will toward another. However justified they may think that those feelings are, all of us like to think of ourselves as tolerant and patient and loving, whether we are or not. And often we're disturbed by our unpleasant feelings. Well, the very fact that we're disturbed tells us something about ourselves and about our spiritual growth. It tells us that it is not natural for us to feel unloving or critical or jealous. There is a loving spirit in you, the Christ spirit that always seeks expression. And you can feel a new freedom and a new peace in mind and body as you refuse to continue to nurse those hurtful feelings or let grudges or resentments stay within you. Unhappy, unloving feelings dissipate. They completely are gone as we allow love, the Christ love, to sweep over us and find expression through us. Let us pray. Today I pray that I am increasing my ability in loving human relationships. I pray that the touch of God is upon me and I let the Christ love sweep over me and through me to find expression in all that I do, all that I think, all that I say, every action and reaction in my life. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen.